In today's gospel, we hear Jesus say to us, be watchful, stay awake. He tells us a story of the master going away from the house and the need for the people who are taking care of the house while he's gone to be paying attention, to be awake, to be watchful. We hear this all the time in Advent. This is a passage that I know we're all familiar with. And I think we get it on a certain level. It makes sense to us that when the master is away, we should be concerned about when he comes back to make sure that what? We're doing our duty, that we're standing at our post, that we're behaving in the way we should, that we're not beating the servants as we hear in another place in the gospel. We get that, that there's a certain way in which we need to hold our moral life together and we need to make sure we're doing our duty. But there's something else going on in this season of Advent. And we can catch it when the Lord says to us, don't be asleep, wake up, wake up. Now, what does he mean by this? I think one of the places we can see what he might mean by this at a deeper spiritual level is if we take a look at the passage in which Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane. You know what happens. He goes to the garden to pray, to actually wage war against the devil. This comes through beautifully in Mel Gibson's movie, where he's actually struggling with the world, the flesh, and the devil as he faces the great challenge of his life, which is to give his life for the sake of others, to fulfill the Father's will. So he's setting out to go to battle, and he invites three of his disciples to join him. They've just had a nice meal. They've had bread and wine, as we know. He's just instituted the Eucharist. And they go out in the garden, and what happens? Jesus goes to do battle, but the disciples, the three he's chosen to bring with him, they fall asleep. And they fall asleep over and over again. He has to wake them up twice, and finally he lets them sleep. What does sleeping mean in this sense? It means they're missing what's really going on. They're missing the spiritual realities. They just think they're in a garden at night for a prayer time, when in reality what's going on is the deepest, most intense spiritual battle Jesus is going to wage as he begins his passion. And I think this is what Jesus means when he tells us during the season of Advent to be awake, to see the real spiritual battle, to see the realities that lie behind everything that we take to be real. You know, it's very easy in Advent. It's very easy to get distracted by things. It's very easy to be worried about the Christmas dinner and the plans we're making. It's very easy in this world of ours to be concerned about the projects we have, about our health, to be concerned about a job. These are all good things. They're all things that are part of living a good life. But if we only see them, we're sleeping. We're not seeing the reality behind these pieces of our life that as important as they are, are not the most important thing. You see, in Advent, we're actually looking forward to and praying for the return of the God of the universe to take the spiritual battle that we've all involved in the spiritual battle in which the souls of every human being are hinging, and he's gonna wrap it up and end it. Jesus says, I come to judge the living and the dead. And when he comes, he's going to set everything right. He will make his judgments, and he will end death, he will end suffering, he will end sorrow, he will end injustice. That's the reality of the world we live in, and the place we are in it right now is in that spiritual battle preparing for that great day. And so our Lord says to us, wake up, see this. Yeah, take care of your life, worry about the things here, but they're not the ultimate thing. The most important thing is that you set your eyes upon the deepest realities, that you're in a spiritual battle for the lives of every human being alive. So brothers as knights, this is especially true for us. It rings true in our hearts as knights, that we see the battle for what it really is and that we choose to fight it. That while we're busy making our plans and making sure things go well in our life and praying for health, and sorting out our problems, that we're really focused on the deepest reality, the battle for souls and our great King's return when he will set everything right. And when that comes, may he find us ready and may he say to us, well done, my good and faithful servant. Viva Jesus.